So we can do one more question on that item. <clears throat> so May 2019, May 2019, question number three, part A. I don't know whether we did that question. May 2019, question number three, part A. Check. Do we do the question for May 2019? Yeah, so that should be our last question on the WSCC. So we go through the question for May 2019. Question number three, part A. May 2019, question number three, part A. So that question reads that, the question reads that the capital structure the capital structure of Maweni Limited is given as follows. The capital structure of Maweni Limited is given as follows. So ordinary share capital, the bar value is given as 20. Retained earnings is given. 12% irredeemable debenture capital is also given. 14% preferred share capital is also given. So additional information, not number one, the current market price of the farm's ordinary shares is quoted at 45 gram dividend. So gram dividend means <clears throat> it has included dividend. We normally use X dividend. The not number two, the farm paid a dividend of five shillings per share in the just ended year. Not number three, the farm adopts 60% dividend payout ratio. Not number four, the farm's return on equity is 20%. Not number five, existing 12% irredeemable debenture is currently trading at 112, which is calm interest. Not number six, the 14%. The 14% preferentials are currently trading at that 3.50 count dividend at the securities exchange. Not number seven, the corporate tax rate applicable is 30%. So required, the cost of the ordinary share capital, the cost of 12% irredeemable debenture capital, the cost of 14% irredeemable preferential capital, and also finally there, W SEC. So the starting point is to get the constant growth rate, which was not given. Before we calculate the cost of the ordinary share, we need to come up with the cost of so the growth rate. So to calculate the growth rate, you will use the compounding method. To calculate the growth rate, you use the compounding method. So if the question does not provide the growth rate, it normally gives you information on how to calculate it. There are normally two methods, compounding and retention ratio. So this one, we shall apply the retention ratio, whereby to calculate G, it is given by the retention ratio multiplied by the return on equity. So if you go through what you are given, in the not number three. Not three, they say that ordinary, the farm adopts which percent dividend without ratio. So that means they retain 40%. So retention ratio is 40%. Return on equity is given in the not number four. They gave us which percent? 20%. So from there, we come up with our constant growth rate. So from there, we get our constant growth rate, which will be what percent? It will be 8%. So we get 8%. So after that, we go to the raw letter one, where we calculate cost of the ordinary share capital, where we compute the cost. So also calculate the dividend per share, sorry. Dividend per share also has not been given. To get the dividend per share, that it was given in the wrong number three, sorry. That dividend per share has been given. So we start off with the Roman letter one, because of the ordinary share 
cost of the ordinary share. So cost of the ordinary share is A E. It is supposed to be given by D four one plus G divided by P four minus the flotation cost. Then we add G at that level. So D four should be the last dividend that was paid. D four is meant to be the last dividend that was paid. So last dividend in the note number two. The firm paid a dividend of how much? So D or in the note number two is given as five. Then one plus the growth rate, which you have just calculated as eight percent. So eight percent the same as zero point zero eight. So B or is the current market price per share. B or is the current market price per share. You can see it in the note number one. Not number one, they have said that current market price of the ordinary share is quoted at how much? 45. But 45 is come what? Come dividend. We use X dividend. So take that price of that dividend. Our dividend is five shillings. Our dividend is five shillings. So when you get 45 minus five, what should be our people? So yeah. Our PO should be how much? 40. So we have subtracted the dividend. So the question did not give you the flotation cost. And also add 0 0.08. And that figure show it as a percentage. That value you show it as a percentage. You show that figure as a percentage. So you show that value as a percentage. So it is giving us around which year? 21.5%. So after that, we go to the Roman letter two. Roman letter two, cost of the 12% irredeemable venture. Roman letter two. Roman letter two is the cost of the debenture. So that debenture is irredeemable. That debenture is irredeemable. So when it is irredeemable, KD is supposed to be given by interest one minus the tax current value of the debenture. Then we subtract the flotation cost. We normally express it as a percentage. So first we calculate interest. Interest is always calculated on the bar value. So they say that existing 12% the venture. So the bar value was given as 20 shares. Are you able to see in the capital structure? 12% redeemable venture, the bar value has to be given as 20. So we get 12% of 20. 12% of 20. We get 12% of 20. So 12% of 20 should be with here. Should be 2.4. So we get 2.4. Then our current value for the departure. They had said that in the not number five. Existing 12% irredeemable debenture is currently trading at how much? But one 12 is come what? Yeah, so always subtract the interest, the one that we have just calculated. Subtract the interest that we have just calculated. So when we do that, what should be our current value for that debenture? 109. 
matrix. So now we come back here to get our KD. So interest is 2.4. The corporate tax rate had been given us 30%. Then 109.6, there was no protection cost. And then also express it as a percentage. Also express it as a percentage. Okay. Also express that as a percentage. So that is now meant to be the cost of the debenture. We also go to Roman letter three, the cost of the 14% irredeemable preferential. We also compute the cost of the preferential. So let us come up with the cost of the preferential. Let us come up with the cost of the preference Now also compute the cost of the preference So cost of the preference cost of the preference is normally KB. It is dividend divided by P4 minus the rotation cost. Then we express it as a percentage. So when you go to the lot number six, they say that 14% preferentials are currently trading as that 3.50 term dividend at the securities exchange. So what do we do? We first calculate the dividend. We first calculate the dividend. So to get the dividend, we get the 14% of the bar value, which was given as 25 in the capital structure. So get 12, 14% of the 25 shares come up with 14% of the 25 shares. 3.5. Yeah, so now, after that, we also need to get our P4. P4 must always be X dividend. But the question in the not number six are you able to see the current dividend? So you take the 33.50, you subtract dividend, which you have calculated, it is meant to be 3.5. So when we do that, we end up having which price? That. So now at that point, you compute your KB, which will be 3.5 divided by 30. There was no rotation cost. Then express it as a percentage. Then you express that value. So that should be now our <clears throat> Roman letter. That should be our Roman letter three. So finally, we got the Roman letter four. So Roman letter four, we should be able to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. We should be able to calculate the weighted average cost of capital. 
So be careful to get. So to compute the WSC, we come up with the total market value. We should be able to come up with the total market value. We get the total. Total. Now uh, to calculate the total market value, to compute the total market value, we start off with the ordinary share capital. We start off with the ordinary share capital. So ordinary share capital, we simply take the 50 million. By by the bar value, which is 20. If you remember X dividend market price of 40. Yeah, so multiply by 40. After we subtract the dividend of 5, we got 40. So that should be able to give you market value for the ordinary shares. It should be able to give you the market value of the ordinary shares. It should be the hundred millions. The next one should be the preferentials. The next one should be the preferentials. So for the preferentials, we do the same. Preferential capital is 15 million. The bar value was given as 25. Multiplied by the current market price, which was that multiplied by that, you get the value for it. Mm -hmm. Which should be how much? Mm -hmm. Then the last item there should be. Reference here, so that the debaters. The last item should now be the debaters. So for the debaters, we do the same 25 million. The bar value is 20. So this one we subtracted. It was 109. 109.6. So that should give us which value? Sorry? One but seven minutes. So when you add them together, what should be our total? Sorry? Is that the 255 million? Yes. So now, after that, we get our WSCC. So WSCC will be 100 million divided by 2, 5 million. So we multiply by, what did we get as the cost for the ordinary share? The quarter 21.5. Then there is also 18 million. So confirm for me the cost for the preferred share. The cost for the preferred share is normally the three. Then finally the debenture 137 also divided by 255. So the one for the debenture in the raw market are two in each figure. 1.5 each. Three each. One point five three. Yeah, so you combine them by that. Like Thank you. 
So we are getting each figure. 10.08. So now we go to a brief subtopic as weighted marginal cost of capital. We have been dealing with the weighted average cost of capital. So we got the weighted marginal cost of capital. Now what the weighted marginal so now it is WMC. So let us now have a brief subtopic as weighted marginal cost of capital, or simply the WMCC, or simply the WMCC. So the other one was the cost of the, ex the, the cost of capital for the existing funds, but this now will be for the new funds. So maybe we can introduce something brief on that. We can write that. It is the average cost of the new funds. It is the average cost of the new funds to be raised. It is the average cost of the new funds to be raised. Average cost of the new funds to be raised in order to finance, in order to finance a new project, in order to finance a new project in order to finance a new project. Therefore, it is used as a discounting rate. Therefore, it is used as a discounting rate. It is used as a discounting rate when evaluating the new project to be undertaken. Therefore, it is used as a discounting rate when evaluating a new project to be undertaken. When evaluating a new project to be undertaken. Then we consider by noting that when computing the weighted marginal cost of capital, when computing the weighted marginal cost of capital, when computing the weighted marginal cost of capital, comma, the cost of the retained earnings, the cost of the retained earnings is normally taken into consideration. The cost of the retained earnings is normally taken into consideration. The cost of the retained earnings is normally taken into consideration. So that's now what we should be able to see when it comes to that. So let us get some questions in relation to that item. So our first question should be December 20, not December 2021. Yes, it will be December 2021. The one for the exam, not the pilot paper. December 2021, question number three, part A. 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 December 2021. Question number three, part F. So are you able to see December 2021, question three, part A? The one for the exam, not the pilot paper. There were two December 2021. One for the pilot paper, another one for the real exam. So the one for the exam is on which page? Which one, page nine? Now I think page five. Others page nine. So we can go through the question and see whether it's the one. The one from uh, Basi Limited. 
is a firm that operates in the textile industry. It is a firm that operates in the textile industry. So over the last five years, the firm has experienced stiff competition that has significantly reduced its turnover. In order to remain profitable, the firm's management is considering diversifying its operations. This activity will require additional financing of how much? 50 million. So at the moment they talk about new finances, that is the weighted marginal cost of capital. So the firm's existing capital structure is given as follows. Ordinary share capital, shillings 20 per value, total amount is 60 million. They have also given you reserves, then also 11% debentures, 13% preference shares. Additional information, the firm's existing capital structure, the firm's existing capital structure is considered to be optimal. The firm's existing capital structure is considered to be optimal. Not number two, the firm expects to raise the firm expects to raise shillings 5 million from the retained earnings, uh, retained an internal source of finance in order to, in order to finance this diversification activity. The not, however, the new ordinary share, however, the new ordinary shares will be issued at 32 per share and incur a flotation cost of shillings 2 per share the note number three, the most recent dividend paid by the company was 2.5 per share, which is expected to grow at a constant rate of 5% per annum in perpetuity. Note number four, new 12% redeemable debenture will be issued at one day each. A flotation cost of shillings 15 per unit will be incurred. The bar value of each unit is 100. The debentures would have a maturity period of how many years? 10 years. Not number five, new 14% redeemable preference shares will be issued at 90 per share. The bar value of each redeemable preference share is 100. The corporation tax rate applicable is 13%. So now required, the cost of the ordinary share capital, cost of the retained earnings, after tax, cost of the 12% debenture capital, Roma letter four, the cost of the new 14% preference share capital. And finally, weighted marginal cost of capital. We start off with the cost of the ordinary share capital. We start off with the cost of the ordinary share capital. For this time, all the information is given. You simply need to calculate the cost of that ordinary share. So to compute the cost of the ordinary share, cost of the ordinary share is the same as KE. It is D or one plus G divide by V or minus the flotation cost at G. So all details are given. All details have been given in the note number two. The farm expects to raise how much? Five million. So then however, new ordinary shares will be issued at how much? 32 per share and in car a flotation cost of two. The not number three, the most recent dividend paid by the company was how much? 2.5. So our DO has been given as 2.5. Then one plus G. G is the growth rate still in the not number three. It is growing at what percent? 5%. So 5% is the same as 0.05. We divide by PO. PO has been given in the not number two. You see the 32 shillings per share. Yeah, so we take 32, we minus the flotation cost. 
that rotation cost was given as how much? Two shillings. Then you also add 0 0.05. Then express it as a percentage. Then express that figure as a percentage. So that should give us what percentage? Yeah, so the next one is the cost of the chain panels. The next one is supposed to be the cost of the retained earnings. So cost of the retained earnings is the same as the ordinary share. The only difference, there will be no flotation cost. The only difference will be no flotation cost. So A man will be D or one plus G divided by P or so the only difference, the same information we have used. What we are excluding is only the flotation cost. So it will be the same as 2.5. It will be the same as 2.5. 1 plus 0 0.5. So we divide by 32. Then you will also express it as a percentage. The cost of the preference share is the same as the cost of the ordinary share, except there will be no rotation cost. Except there will be no rotation cost. Except there will be no rotation cost. So, among the number size, yeah. so we can have a short break. My answer is not in the next five minutes. Then we do the next one. We do the next one. So the next one should be Roman letter three. Okay. Roman letter three is supposed to be after tax cost of the new 12% debenture. But the debenture is redeemable. So we now compute the cost of the debenture, which is meant to be redeemable. We now calculate the cost of the debenture, which is meant to be redeemable. We now compute the cost of the debenture, which is meant to be redeemable. So you calculate the cost of the debenture. When you want to compute the cost of the debenture, which is redeemable, so one to get the cost of the debenture. So that debenture is redeemable. You can see in the note number four, a new 12%. A new 12% renewable debenture will be issued at how much? 110 each, a rotation cost of 15 by so the bar value of each is 100. The debenture will mature after how many years? So we calculate the yield to maturity. Our KD is the same as. So it will be given by interest. One minus the tax then plus in practice. Maturity value minus the current value. Then maturity value plus the current value. So I have to express it as a percentage. A half. Then we express it as a percentage. So we shall first calculate the interest. We shall first calculate the interest. So I want you to pay attention on that. There are two items given. In the capital structure, are you able to see 11% debentures of 100 per month? But here we are evaluating the new one. The new one is in the note number four. You can see note four. And you have what percent debenture? 
Yeah, so the interest we calculate on the new venture because it's for the new capital. It is for the new capital. So it will be 12% of the bar value. The bar value has also been given as a The bar value no, is also meant to be, which is going to be how much? Then we say that maturity value, unless otherwise settled, is always the same as what the bar value. So, current value for that venture, they were able to give us. It was issued at how much? But it has some protection cost. Are you able to see some protection cost on that venture? It has been given at what? So you minus 15 because it has some protection cost. So when we subtract 15, you are going to have which here. So you get 95. So N has also been given as how many years? 10 years. So now from there, we simplify it. So interest will be 12. The corporate tax is 30%. Then Majority value is 100, you minus 95, 1 over 2. N is 10 years. Then you also divide by 100 plus 95, then amount. Then express it as percentage. So get that figure now to represent our yields to maturity.
So we are to do the Roman letter, Roman letter four. This one you are getting which percent? to maturities 9.13 so we also compute now the one of the preference here Roman letter four is the cost of the preference here we now also compute now the cost of the preference here now also calculate share so to compute the cost of the preference share, when you want to calculate the cost of the preference share. So, that Roman letter four, cost of the new 14% preference shares. So to compute the cost of the preference share, Roman letter four, to compute cost of the preference share. The cost of the preference share is the same as A, B, is D, type by B or O. Minus the protection cost, we express it as a percentage. So we are calculating. So now we use the new one, not the current. The current is 13 percent. But now, when you got the not number four, you see the new 14 percent. Yeah. So we compute for the new 14 percent. So dividend will be 14 percent of the bar value. That bar value is a hundred. We are looking at the lot number five. They are saying that the fourteen percent irredeemable preference share will be issued at ninety per share. The bar value of each irredeemable preference share is how much? Yeah. So don't take the fifteen. We are for the new. The new is given in the note number five as a hundred. So you get 14% of a hundred, which will be how much? Which will be so our KB should be 14. So PO is still in that note number five. Are you able to see it is issued at how much? At 90. So there was no rotation cost for the preference. Then express it as a percentage. Then you express it as a percentage. So once you have done that, now we get the total amount to raise. So we get now the raw model of five the weighted marginal cost of capital. So we can now calculate the weighted marginal cost of capital. So to compute the weighted marginal cost of capital, we use the total amount to raise. Total amount raise. So 
So to get the total amount to raise, we start off with the retained earnings. So retained earnings were given to you. The retained earnings were given to you. You are able to give us in the lot number two. You see not true. They have stated that the farm expects to raise how much? Five mil from the internal source in order to finance the diversification activity. So retained earnings is given. The retained earnings is given. That amount is meant to be five million. It is meant to be five. The next one should be the ordinary shares. The next one should be ordinary shares. So for the ordinary shares, you've got the not number one. Not one, they have said that the farm's existing capital structure is considered to be optimal. So we shall first get the amount from the equity. So equity in the capital structure, are you able to see 60 million and 10 million under the capital structure? So 60 million is the ordinary share, reserve is 10. So we shall take that 60 plus 10, giving us how much? 70 million divided by the total, which is how much? 100. Multiplied by the amount to raise. Are you able to see how much they were supposed to raise in the first paragraph? 50 million. You see the 50 million. But now this amount is to raise from equity. Equity has already included retained earnings. So after that, subtract that amount for the retained earnings. Now to get the amount to go to the ordinary share. To get the amount to the ordinary share. So equity in this question has ordinary share capital and reserve. That proportion is what is giving you 70%, 70 million. So when you take 70 million, divide by 100 million, that will give you the proportion for equity. But equity now has also the retained earnings, which you have already allocated the 5 million. So you subtract from this amount for equity, the 5 million is already given the retained earnings. The balance should now go to the ordinary share. The balance should now go to the ordinary share. So how much are we going to allocate now to the ordinary share? Sir? So it will be 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes. Then we also factor in the one for the preference shares. We also factor in the one for the preference shares. So for the preference shares, we do the same, where you take 10 millions. So they have given you 10 millions. Are you able to see the 10 millions? Divide by the total again, which is 100 millions. Multiply by 50 million to know which proportion we got the preference share. To know how much we got the preference share. So how much are we giving the preference shares? It's five millions. Then the last one should be the one for the, the debenture. We also allocate the one for the debentures. So debentures, you do the same. 20 millions, also divide by 100 millions, also multiply 50 millions. Also multiply by the 50 millions. The debenture capital is 20 million, also divide by the total. So this will give us how much? So when you add them together, I want you to confirm whether that figure is adding up to what is supposed to be 50 million. So once you have done that, the first thing to be here is it is adding up to 50 million. Yeah, so now after that, we conclude our WMCC. So WMCC. We start with the retained earnings, which is 50 million divided by 5 million divided by the 50 million. 
So I want you to remind me in the Roman letter two, what did we get in the Roman letter two as the cause for the retained That point two. The next one is 30 millions, also divided by 50 millions. What was the cost for the ordinary share in Roman letter one? Sorry. 13.75. Then the preferential is 5 million, also divided by 50 million. What was the cost for the preferential? Fifteen point five six. And then finally, the debenture ten millions also divide by fifteen millions. So this one you multiply by which here. Nine point one three. So multiply by nine point one three. So when you combine them together, you now get the weighted marginal cost of capital. Get the weighted cost of capital. So we are getting 12 points, 12.954. So that's now on that question. Our next question should be, our next question should be November, 2018, November, 2018, November, 2018, question number four, part B, November, 2018. Question number four, part B. November 2018. Question number four, part B. So let us now go through that question for November. November, you have said November 2018. So we go through November 2018. There is a question number four, part B. 
there is a question number four, part B. So that question four, part B, the question number four, part B, it says that New Ways Limited, New Ways Limited, in debt to raise new capital, to expand its production level. New Ways Limited, in debt to raise new capital, to expand its production level. The company plans to, the company plans to undertake the following financial decisions. The company plans to undertake the following financial positions. Not one, issue 200,000 ordinary shares, which have a bar value of 10, at least 16 per share. The flotation cost per share is one share. Not number two, issue 75,000 12% preference shares which have a bar value of 20 shillings at 18 per share. The total flotation cost is 150,000. The note number three, issue 50,000, 18% debenture, which have a bar value of 100 shillings at 80 per debenture. Note number four, borrow 5 million, 18% long-term loan, the total flotation cost is 200,000. Additional information, not number one. The company paid 28% ordinary dividend, which is expected to grow at a rate of 4% per annum. The corporate tax rate is 13%. So now required the total capital to be raised, net of what? Flotation cost, Roma letter two, weighted, marginal cost of capital. So we can start off with the Roma letter one, total capital to be raised, net of the flotation cost. Total capital to be raised, net of the flotation cost. Total capital to be raised, net of the flotation cost. So total capital to be raised, total Capital to be raised. Total capital Total capital to be raised. So they have given you starting from the not number one. There is ordinary share capital. There is ordinary share capital. So to get the ordinary share capital, to get the ordinary share capital, you simply take how many ordinary shares are being issued. There are 200,000 ordinary share. Then the price they are being issued at how much? The issuing price. Is and the bar value is the one which is 10. So they are being issued at 16 per share. But it's the net of the flotation cost. The flotation cost is given as one. The issue they have said total capital to be raised net of flotation cost. So the issuing price is 16 shillings. Then the flotation cost is one. So you net one so that you get now the capital from that. That's fair, how much millions? It's three millions. So it is giving you more. The next item there in the note number two, they also issue 75,000 12% preferentials, which have a bar value of how much? But at what price? 18. The flotation, total flotation cost is given as 150. So we also now factor in the not number two preferences. Not number two is the preference shares. So for the preferences, you simply take 75,000. So here you multiply by 18. Flotation costs were given separately in total. They are given you 100 and what? 
150,000. So subtract 150,000 from that figure. Now to come up with. The next one is called the uh, So rotation cost was given separately as 150,000. So we should be able to give us how much? 122 minutes. So that is now the value for that. Then, apart from the preferentials, we got the note number three. The way they said they issue how many debentures? Yeah, so we also have the debentures. We also have the one. So for the debentures, they are issuing 50,000 at how much per debenture? So 50, what back? So there was no rotation cost that was given on the debentures. There was no rotation cost that was given on the debentures. Give us four minutes. Okay. And the last item there is the bank loan. There is the long term loan. Long term loan. So for the long term loan, it is five million. We also gave you the flotation cost. The flotation cost is which figure? 200,000. So this will be 4.8. So add them together to get the total amount raised. Net of the flotation cost to get the total amount to raise. Net of the flotation cost. So we go to the wrong letter two. We are raising how much in total? 18 million. That is 1.33. So let us go to the Roma letter three, the weighted marginal cost of capital. So you calculate the cost of capital for each of these four items. Then we get the W MCC. So you start with the cost of the ordinary share. We start off with the cost of the ordinary share. Cost of the ordinary share. So to get the cost of the ordinary share is the same as A E. It is D O one plus G divided by P O minus the flotation cost. We add G. So we are on the information given in the not number one. So to compute the dividend, dividend is normally calculated on the bar value. In the note number one, are you able to see in note one? The company paid what percent? In the note number one, down there in the additional information. <coughs> There are number one, so additional information not one, they paid a dividend of 28% of the bar value. So that bar value in the not number one is how much? 10. So that should be able to give us 2.8. It's 2.8. So now our KE, you take 2.8, 1 plus G. 
G is that constant growth rate is in the additional information, not number one. They are expected to grow at a rate of what percent? 4%, which is the same as 0 point, 0 0.04. So PO is in the original, not number one. They were issued at 16. Then the flotation cost is one. Then you also have it like that. Then express that figure as a percent. Then express that value as a percentage. So we go to the next one as the cost of the preferential. So we also check the second one as the cost of the preferential. Check. So this one is twenty three point one. Yeah, so let us also compute. So others are getting 19. I've been told online someone has given me 23.4. So they are saying it's 24.31. So let us calculate the cost of the preferential. We also compute the cost of the preferential. Also calculate the cost of the preference. Yeah. So the cost of the preference here is KB, which is B B or minus the transportation cost. We now also compute the cost of the preference. Yeah. So dividend divided by P or minus the flotation cost then you express it as a percentage. So we start off with the dividends. So dividends in that not number two, they issue 12% preferential, which have above value of 20. So get 12%. Dividend. So the other item is the flotation cost. The flotation cost was not given per share. They gave you the total. Are you able to see that full flotation cost? So take 150,000, divide by the bar value, the number of the preferences, which are 75. So that you get the flotation cost per preference share. You get the flotation cost per preference share. It's exactly true. Uh, so now you come at this point, KB should be equal to two, sorry, 2.4 divided by PO. PO was given as how much? It was issued at 18. So 18 minus the protection cost. 18, the protection cost of efficiency. You have just so the next one we also compute the cost of the debenture. We shall also be required to calculate the cost of the debenture. So the debenture is in the note number three. That debenture is irredeemable because they have not given the maturity period. That debenture is irredeemable because they have not given us the maturity period. They have not given you the maturity period. So cost of the debenture. So it is the same as K, which is interest 
one minus the transpose then the current value of the temperature then just cost like that. So first we compute interest. Interest rate is meant to be 18%. And the bar value is 100. So we get 18% of 100. Which will be how much? 18. So it will be 18. The corporate tax rate was 30%. So currently it was trading in the note number three at 80. So there was no flotation cost for that. Then express it as a percentage. There was no flotation cost for but then you simply express it as a positive. So that is now on that. The last one is the long term loan. We also compute the cost of the bank, the cost of the bank loan in the lot number four. There is also the bank loan or the long term. We also compute the cost of the bank loan. So to get the cost of the bank loan, cost of the bank loan. This is just the debt. But for the bank loan, to get that cost of the bank loan, simply take the interest and then you tax it, the interest rate. So in that note number four, what are we given as the interest rate? So just take the 18%, then one minus the corporate tax, because there's nothing you can do about calculating the cost of the bank loan. Just take that interest rate, net of the tax. You just take the interest rate, net of the tax. So you just tax that interest, which is 18%. Which will be which value? Two point? Twelve point six. Now we can get the WMCC. Now calculate our WMCC. So now to get the WMCC. So to compute the WMCC. So WMCC will be equal. So you take the three millions divided by 13 millions. So what are you getting as the cost of the ordinary share? The cost of the ordinary share you got to here. Seven. Then we add the preference share, the proportion is 1.2 million, also divided by the total, which was 13 million. So, what was the cost of the preference share? Exactly 15. We also add 4 million divided by 13 million. So the cost of the debenture will go to 8%. 15 points. The last one it is 4.8. Also divided by the total which is 30. What is the cost? You have said it's 12 points. It is 12 points. So you combine them together. 
Now to get the weighted marginal cost of capital. Combine them together to come up with the weighted marginal cost of capital. So I should give you a small point two eight. So our our next question should be November twenty seventeen. I want you to check <clears throat> November 2017. November 2017, question three, part B. November 2017, question number three, part B. We check November 2017, question number three, part B. November. 2017, question number three, part B. November 2017, question number three, part B. So that question three, part B for November 2017. Question three, part B for November 2017. So the question reads that Rye Properties Limited, Rye Properties Limited is planning to build a business mall. Rye Properties Limited is planning to build a business mall. So the project will cost how much? 180 million. The farm's current optimal capital structure is given as follows. So ordinary share capital, there is 480 million, 10% debt is 384, retained profit is 96. Additional information, not number one. The farm will issue a new 15% debentures, Ashlings 120 each, with a flotation cost of 10 per unit. The bar value of each debenture is 100. Not number two, new ordinary shares will be issued at a current market price of 30 shillings each with a flotation cost of five per share. Not number three, the most recent dividend paid by the company was five per share. Not number four, the dividend is expected to grow at a rate of 5% per annum in perpetuity. The note number five, the farm expects to retain how much? 18 million to finance this investment. The corporate tax rate is given as 13%. So now required from Maleta one, amount to be raised from equity capital amount to be raised from equity capital if the capital structure is to remain what? Unchanged. Roma letter two, number of the ordinary shares the company should issue to raise the desired external equity capital. Then finally, the firm's weighted marginal cost of capital. 
So Roma letter one, we want to get the amount to raise from the equity capital. So amount from the equity capital, amount from the equity capital. So amount from the equity capital. We want to get the amount from the equity capital. So amount from equity capital. You simply check equity is given as ordinary shares and retained profits. You can see the ordinary share is how much for 80. So you take therefore 80 millions plus the one for the retained earnings. You can see it is how much 96. So once you add them together, divide by the total. Are you able to see the total? It's 960. So divide by 960, multiplied by the amount to raise. Amount to raise in the first paragraph was 140. Can you see the amount to raise in the first paragraph? 180. Millions. So that should give you the amount from the equity. Equity comprises retained earnings and the ordinary share and the reserves. So they have said in the note number one, sorry, in the Roma letter one, if the capital structure is to remain unchanged, the capital structure, you use that total capital structure. Retained earnings and the ordinary share will be equity. So that will give us the proportion for the amount raised from the equity. So how much should it be? We get to an eight million. That will be one of eight million. One of eight million. So that's now the amount for the Roman letter one. So we go to the Roma letter two. The number of the ordinary shares the company should issue to raise the desired equity capital. So we have seen the amount from equity. So amount from equity. Amount from equity. It is one of eight millions. It is one of eight millions. So from that figure, we less the retained earnings. So that the balance will go to the ordinary share. So we less the retained earnings. We minus the retained earnings. So retained earnings was given. Are you able to see the amount from the retained earnings? In the information given to you in the note number five. Are you able to see note five? The firm expects to retain how much? 18 million to finance this investment. So subtract 18 million. So that the balance will be now amount from the ordinary share. The balance is now amount. From the ordinary share, the balance should now be the amount from the ordinary share. So when you take one of eight minus eighteen minutes, it will give us ninety minutes. So after that, you ask now to know how many ordinary shares should you issue now to raise this amount. So the number of the ordinary shares to be issued. Number of the ordinary shares issued. You simply take that night. The shares were being issued at how much? Uh, so you can see they say that new ordinary shares will be issued at a current market, but now there is a flotation cost. So take that minus flotation cost is it five? Yeah, so it should be net of the flotation cost. That amount to be raised should be net of the flotation cost. So how many shares were issued? 
Shares were being issued at 30, but they have incurred a flotation cost of five. That is what will give us net of the flotation cost. So that's now our raw manager two. Finally, we got the raw manager three, where they want you to calculate the weighted marginal cost of capital. So this time, there are only three sources of finance retained earnings ordinary shares and also they have given the debt consider 10 percent debt so we only compute those three items to get the weighted marginal cost of capital so we start with the cost for the retained earnings we start off by calculating the cost for the retained earnings so to get the cost of the retained earnings to calculate the cost of the retained earnings, the cost of the retained earnings. It is the same as the cost of the ordinary share, except there will be no flotation cost, except there will be no flotation cost. So KR is supposed to be given by KR, it is D or one plus G divided by P or RG. So in that not number one, so not number two, the new ordinary shares will be issued at a current market price. The not number three, sorry. The most recent dividend paid by the company was how much? So our dividend is five. Then the growth rate has been given. They have given you in the not number number four. Dividend is expected to grow at a rate of what percent? Five percent per annum in perpetuity. So five percent the same as zero point zero five. So PO is given to you in the not number two. It is how much? That. So this one we don't subtract the flotation cost because the cost for the retained and then you also add 0 0.05. Then express it as a percentage. The, the next item we compute is the cost of the ordinary share. We shall also calculate the cost of the ordinary share. So, cost of the ordinary share is Ke, which will be given by GO1 plus G, then PO minus the flotation cost. Then we also add G. So, flotation cost was given as which here? In the not number two, it was given as five. Then we also zero point zero five. Then we also compute the cost of the debt. Also compute the cost of the debt. 
The debt is the same as the debenture in the note number one. When you check in the note number one, they have also given you information about the debenture. So we now also calculate the costs of the debenture. Also compute the cost of the debenture. So Roman also gets the cost of the debenture. So cost of the debenture is KD. So it was irredeemable. You see it is not number one. They have not given the maturity value. So if you guess it is not given, the, they have not given the maturity value, it means it is irredeemable where you get the interest one minus the tax rate minus the current value for the debenture and subtract the projection cost. Right? So interest must always be calculated from the bar value. Interest must always be calculated on the bar value. So interest rate in the note number one. Don't go to the note the ten percent. You see ten percent for the debt. Yeah, we use the new one. A firm will issue a new fifteen percent debenture at one twenty with a flotation cost of ten per unit. So we get fifteen percent of ten. Sorry. The bar value of each debenture is 100. We get 15% of 100, 15% of 100. So you simply take 15, 1 minus 0 0.3. The current value for that debenture. It is currently being issued at 120. Then you subtract the flotation cost, which was given as how much? 10. Then express that as a percentage. Which is coming to, and then total amount to raise, total amount to raise. There is the total amount to raise. So you start off with retained earnings. That one we calculated. Retained. So this one was given. So is it 18 million in the north number five? Yeah. Then we also calculated the ordinary shares. Ordinary shares, we got one of, was it 90? We calculated the Roman letter two, amount to raise from the ordinary share. It was 90 million. Then there is now the one for the debenture. So the debenture can be the balance, or you simply take that capital structure. You see 384 for the debt. So 384 million divided by the total, which is 960, multiplied by the amount to which which was 18 million. Or you simply subtract retained earnings and ordinary shares from the 180. Mm -hmm. Abuja 70 was 72. So when you add them, they should give you 180 minutes when you add them. So that we now get the new MCC. So you get 18 million divided by the total 180. What was the cost for the retained earnings? Sorry? 22.5. Then we add. 90 million divided by 180 meters. What was the cost for the ordinary shares? Six. So then, 
Verse 26. And finally, 72 also divide by 180 millions. So this one you got to which figure? 9.5. So when you combine them together, that is when you come up with the weighted marginal cost of capital. That is what we give you the weighted marginal cost of capital. So online, there's some notes are sent to the class group, the dividend policy and the working capital management. So you get those notes. I will be just between the questions, you go through them. So we can stop there for now. We can stop there for now. <laughs>